<sighs> okay. We've seen these before because I forgot how Devil May Cry works. So I'm an idiot. And yeah, you have to like also this is fucking me up so much. Is it circle forward, X forward, what what, what version of this am I playing? And then this is at the bottom and I'm just stupid. I'm just changing guns around here for no reason. Yeah, I've got like I'm trying to find where to upgrade and like it's not not the clearest, but it's fine. I forgot how Devil May Cry works, so I forgot that like, yeah, you actually have to finish a mission, otherwise you have to play through the whole mission again, you can't just checkpoint, because it's been a while since I played a classic Devil May Cry game, in fact, this is the first time I've ever played this game, which is why I'm consistently fucking up and not knowing how to do the game. <laughs> Like, consistently, <laughs> and going, huh, and like dying to every boss and dying to multiple different enemy types, and going, how do I deal with this again? How do game? So, yeah, look, tower, fire door. Very impressive. Nice architecture. We've seen all this before from the last time, so I'm just gonna quickly just try and remember how to do the combat like I said and there's also huge gaps between recordings because I'm doing like three other different LPs at the same time so it means I am consistently having to f remember after fucking up uh, and you know I fuck up because I have to remember the entire thing again and then I'm like, how do game? Because it's completely different <laughs> to Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, never LP2 character action games with similar kind of styles at the same time if you're ever going to YouTube because uh, it just fucks you up with control schemes. You're just like, how do I do anything? There's a shiny. I really want the shiny, but like it's being cryptic and annoying. This guy's again. So this this time I take a load of fucking hits because I'm sad I like how to do anything and just like tank hits thinking it's fine I've got a big health bar and it regenerates and it does not because it's not fucking Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> you yeah, know Ninja Gaiden really teaches you some really bad habits. It teaches you Hey, after every encounter, your health bar just goes back to 100%, except for red damage. And you don't really have to be 100% perfect all of the time. Something, something, soul of steel. Lightning, soul of steel, I don't know. Yeah, it teaches you to be sloppy and not to pay attention to shit, like, even though it's quite a hard game, it teaches you not to, like, pay attention to damage and shit, and you can be a bit more chill with the defensive tech <clears throat> at the early levels. I'm just taking hits here constantly for no reason. I'm just not moving, I'm just standing there, I'm not tricking, I'm just standing there taking stupid fucking hits again and again from the same enemy doing the same move six or seven times and just doing the dash slash that he keeps doing and me just hit it again and again. So this is annoying. And then I just get hit a hundred times by this guy plinking at me from a long distance and I'm just like, oh yeah, I just let him hit me. <laughs> like a fucking moron. 
camera is not doing me any favors, but like that's basically every character action game I ever play. Dead. So now we'll try without acting like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, like... Ah, oh, fuck it, like, we're gonna try something stupid. This door is eternally on fire, I don't know why. But I have Ice Weapon, maybe that'll... No. It will not. Well, it was a dumb idea anyway, I was just seeing what would happen. This game is really good. I don't think anyone needs to be told Devil May Cry 3 is actually really good. It's like it's got a, such a vibe that I really dig. It's a, it just rem, it's got the same kind of vibe coming off of it of like House of the Dead 2 has whilst being a completely different game. It's got that same kind of like that really specific kind of feel that I get off of games from that kind of time. And it's just like, it's fun, it's got enough tech and it's got enough stuff going on that it's quite fun to play, it's like, not as fast as Devil May Cry 5 obviously, but that's like, yeah obviously, uh, but it feels good to play the game, which is like, you know, the key here. I don't want to spoil the game though by like looking up guides and shit, so uh, it means that I'm going to be doing it blind. Which I no doubt will get some idiot troll writing on top of Why you play the game? It's like, because I haven't played the game before. Where do you know where you're going? It's like, uh. Oh yeah, and for context, when did this come out? 98 or 99? Or well, later? God, I can't remember. I was about six. Was I six? Nah, I couldn't have been six. I this must have come out like oh, 2000, 03, something like that, right? Ten, eleven, when this came out. So I obviously didn't play it. <laughs> I mean, we can talk about childhood trauma. Uh, but I don't think, oh, I didn't get to play violent video games as a kid is really like selling it as childhood trauma. I wasn't allowed basically anything as a kid, so. <laughs> and anything even mildly scary or showing mild peril was whisked away from me. Like, holy shit, he's scared. Hide it from him forever. Just smother him. Never allow him to have anything that even remotely terrifies him. So, basically, my entire childhood was like... I'm trying to find some um, move list here, because it's starting to piss me off that I can't do drive. Because I'm using the modern input to do drive, and it's not coming out. Which is, hold lock on, back to forward on the analog stick, or cloak away to towards on the analog stick and attack button, triangle, whatever, you know, just like, see, I'm trying it here and it's not coming out and I'm like, the fuck? I find out later post this recording is a different input in the classic game. <clears throat> so yeah, as a child, I wasn't allowed anything. All of my friends that like, secondary school were playing GTA San Andreas and I wasn't allowed that game and I wasn't allowed GTA 3 and I wasn't allowed like any game involving any form of gun violence until I had an Xbox 360 and then all my parents did was complain that I was playing violent games. My parents are the kind of people who would give you a console and then bitch that you ever turned on the console and will constantly punish you for turning on the console and will constantly scream at you and call you a failure for turning on the console, literally. So, um, 
here's here's a console. If you go near it, I'm gonna smack you in the face and scream, why aren't you doing your homework? Why did you buy me the fucking console? As an excuse to, like, bully me? Like, not allowed to touch it ever. Even if I've done all my homework. It's just a ridiculous abuse, man. Anyway, like, yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> This game is cool, I'm glad I finally got around to playing it. I'll play 1 and 2 at some point, I heard 2 is really fucking bad. I heard some people say 1 is okay, but then I saw there was a swimming section and was like, you. So these guys have like a weird sand motif that I didn't pick up on the first time because I just, you know, beat them really quickly last time, but they have this weird sand attack, sand true shit. They got a lot of enemies in here, like, I didn't realize how many enemies the first time I was, like, I came through this area, and I, obviously it's a new game to me, but like, there are a lot of enemies. And I like that. I love that in games where they just go, here's a random area, here's a unique enemy, fuck you. Like in House of the Dead, where you go through like a watery area and suddenly all of these green moss tree people zombies show up and you're just like, yo, different zombie, that's real cool. Or like, you know, something like that. I love it when they do things like that. Even if it doesn't change gameplay, but here it changes gameplay, which is even cooler. Like, here's a random sand guy. He does this, and you're like, wow. And he, he's basically just here at the moment. So that's just a pathway, then we have to go to Yellow Door. The camera is just like, idiot, go to Yellow Door. <laughs> Stop running around in circles. Then you will go here, but not straight away. Then I'm like, okay, let's go here straight away. And it's like, fuck you, why don't you listen? I can do it, I did it last time. No? Okay. Maybe I just did it weird, the curvature of the tower or something. Just kind of dashes in a perfectly straight line. No? Okay, we'll try again. I did it before, so you can fucking do it. <laughs> there you go. Get the orb. Ah, I might as well get the orbs right. Orbs are good. He does walk really slowly though. Look, thing, we have to put the key item in here. It's not very exciting, but I'm like, I really want to get those red orbs so that I can upgrade everything because it's my first time seeing all of these weapons, so in their classic form at least. So I really want to see what happens here, man. Want to fully upgrade stuff there. That's what kind of why I went back to Trickster because I want to level up Trick and see because it doesn't tell you from what I've seen here. It doesn't tell you like or do the thing. Oh, I tried to trick up and it was just like no. Ah, uh, it's the blow up guys that they don't let you target. Ah, fuck. Yeah. <clears throat> pretty, pretty good moveset. I'm enjoying it, even without Swordmaster equipped. Can't really work out how to level up Swordmaster as easily as leveling up Trick, so I'm just gonna level up Trick to see what happens. Maybe I get something cool. Maybe it's a bigger trick, maybe there's extra tricks. 
I mean, obviously in the late game, later games, there's like a load of shit you can do with each like style. So. Ah, fuck. Camera kind of fucked me there, but like, you know, just stay away from these guys because it like the lock on isn't great, and I just think to myself, I can trick out the way faster than I can toggle through every single enemy on screen to get to the finally to the one I need to blow up, so I'll just let them blow themselves up. Because they make a unique sound and I can just trick away, so... <laughs> I know that's lame, <laughs> but like... Oh cool, you can hit people behind you with that, that makes sense. That's probably why I'm always d rank but like, fuck it, like... I'll work on that. I dip it. What is this? Steal thy soul. Seeing a motif with souls of steel here, so I assume I go in here, kill the dude, and that's that's a key item I need. Okay, it takes me a while to work out what this guy's thing is, because I overthink a lot of bosses and think there's like a thing I have to do that I'm not seeing. And it's actually just fucking wail on the guy and just stand on his back and wail on him. But I'm like, am I supposed to weaken him from underneath first? Is there something that I'm supposed to be doing with the all projectiles he shoots at me? Like, you know, is it like like these? Am I supposed to like do hit them back? Like honestly, you no, know, all you gotta do is like punch him keep stabbing him with your stabby sword until he falls down. I mean it is an early early boss and it's not exactly the most memorable. I see it's almost like a proto Gilgamesh. Having played these in a fucked up order, I see it's a proto Gilgamesh. Because it's like jump on his back, do lots of damage, get kicked off of his back. Guns seem to do more damage in the classic Devil May Cry games than they did when I was playing Devil May Cry 5. They basically do fucking nothing in Devil May Cry 5. Oh, I just took all of it to the face. Okay, so you'll just spam that attack. Cool. Cool. Oh, and he actually doesn't just go back and forth calls around sometimes. Okay, okay, this is all data. Kind of a slow boss fight, but I feel like it's my fault. Because <laughs> I'm just kind of fucking around at the moment, not like hitting him, just like watching him, so... <laughs> oh. He's in a different place to where I thought he would be. Like, can he hit me in that coiled position, or is he just, like, doing it to be weird? I'll just stand here. Because he's going to throw a load of purple lightning balls at me again. Run away! Run away! Oh. Yeah, that's too shallow. Yeah. That, that was fucked up. Okay, let's try and get up before he comes. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh. I can't helm split onto him because I dropped too shallow. Shallowly, I need to try something else. Just jump onto it normally. So trying to be fancy. Sounds like he's making a tiny ocelot sound. Reminds me of ocelots. I kinda hit him, but I should've just jumped on his back. Okay, that did a little damage, but like, really I just need to jump on his back. Ah, oh, fuck. I keep missing. I'm stupid. My depth perception isn't great in games like this. Maybe if I go here and then jump on him from the cross bridge. Oh wait, purple lightning! 
No! No! Oh. Doesn't work past me. Stop doing it. Just gonna jump on his head. Yeah, fuck you. This is what I'm supposed to do. You can tell by the damage I'm doing. It's kind of obvious to everybody, including myself now, and I'm like, wow, I'm... Why was I fucking around trying all of this obviously ineffective shit? But, you know, again, learning. I'm learning. Sorry I'm not elite day one. Yeah, I'm probably gonna kill you. I jump off. The electricity doesn't seem to do any damage to me, but like, he rolls me off anyway, so. Ah, blues. Uh, run from the blues. They go through shit, that's not fair. Oh, he does that. He's got more. Why's he got so many? What the fuck? It's like if he hits you, he gets more of them. Damn it. Oh, it's too slow. Oh no, I landed. It's fine. If I'm on top of him, maybe they can't hit me. Ah. Oh no, more. No. Don't kill me. Good, I got away. Just stand here. Yeah, it didn't work. Oh well. Worth trying, I guess. Oh, so close. Come on, man. Damn it. No. The perps. Perps are getting me. Oh, that's bullshit. I was standing up here. How that shit hit me? Splash damage. I call hacks. Come on, I can do it. Oh, no. I was close. I was close while figuring out the boss, so it's much easier than the Cerberus boss straight away. I was still working out how to even fight this boss, and I've already, like... Okay, okay. Well, I'll shut up now. Hang on. Stabby, stabby. Ah, he's spinning. No, don't spin. Oh. Okay, well, that's about a third of his health already. I'm just gonna kind of shoot at him here. It might seem like why bother, but it makes if he sees me, he fires off the purple ball straight away, and that stops him from doing that bullshit thing he did before where it hit me through the floor. Although it still went through the walls there, as you can see, it's like it's better that it doesn't hit me. <laughs> like Trying to jump, but I kind of forgot when locked on you just roll. Just roll. See, now he. Aha! Yeah, like a cool guy. Cheeky hitting. I jumped on your face! Aha! 
Oh shit, I don't want to look at your creepy Cthulhu mouth. Nah, man. Okay, he's got less than half health and I've got a full bar, so... It's fine. It's kind of a boring war of attrition, though. <laughs> Let's just wait for him to shoot the orbs, then go back. Then wait for him here. And wait for him to come back out. I'm sure I could make it faster, but I'm lazy. I'll do a little dance. I will taunt the giant worm. Aha! Oh shit. No! Damn it! Oh, it took some damage. Make sure he, uh, yeah, shoots off the orbs first. I will taunt you. Oh, he's so slow. Come on. See him. Damn it, I'm gonna have to do it again. One more time and then he'll be dead though, so. Just be patient, don't make it any longer. I'll do my little Mario stamps. Must be this time. Must be this time. Oh, you're kidding me. I'll just shoot you then. Oh, no. Orbs, you're shooting me. Oh, my God. Oh, it's got like one pixel of health. This is bullshit. Ah. Okay, you're doing a new thing. But I don't care, so I'm just going to shoot you. Dead. I guess. Okay. Well, if you're gonna give me orbs, I'll take them. Ah, they fade real quick in this. Okay. Is there anything else I need to pick up? the door I came out of. I'm pretty sure it's the door I came out of. Yeah, it's the door I came out of. Just thought I'd check, because sometimes these rooms have many doors. But in this case, it's just this one down here. So I guess you're my door. Okay, I think. And the key I own, or one of them. Jester. 
And I know a thing or two about this place. Of course, you're that called Jester. There, I want to see thought he was called Joker. Entire sector. In order to open the door, you need to apply a little something to it first. Do you know what that is, kid? Or is no. that too difficult for you? <laughs> Get to the point, or do you want to keep on dancing? <laughs> what an asshole. Actually, I prefer a sword to be my partner. May I have this dance, my lady? Bingo! <laughs> that is what the something is. Remember that, kid. Write it down on your <laughs> hand if you don't trust your head. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Thanks. <laughs> you still piss me off, though. Look at his abs. They demand you look at his abs. Okay, fair enough. I did badly in this, but it's fine. Ish fine. <laughs>